First of all, brothers and sisters, any fasting while we were kids is not mandatory, even if we do it. We train our kids to fast. Some of our kids fast fully at the age of five. They fast for the whole month of Ramadan from dawn till sunset, like adults exactly, but this is all voluntary. The actual accounting begins at reaching the age of puberty. Uh, so we count from, you know, which age you achieve puberty. For females, once she experiences the menses. So then fasting becomes obligatory. So we will count from reaching the age of puberty. So once the person reaches the age of puberty, fasting becomes obligatory. Because of that, the Prophet said with regards to the prayer, uh, Train your children to pray at the age of seven and discipline them if they don't pray at the age of 10, even though 10 may not be the age of puberty. But because this is something that we do on a regular basis, five times a day, if the person reaches the age of puberty as of today, it becomes extremely difficult for him or her to shift all of a sudden and start praying regularly. So the preparation must start before that. Similarly is fasting. So if a person used to fast even every other day or whenever in Ramadan or fast, uh, you know, half day, training the children. And then tomorrow the girl experiences the age of puberty through the menses, okay? Then she's used to fasting, it becomes obligatory. And during the period you will not fast, you have seven days or eight days more or less to skip fasting, just make it up after Ramadan. If a person deliberately did not fast while he or she is an adult, they have committed a major sin. They've committed a major sin. And in this case, they are required to make tawbah and make up that day. If it was, if it is day, if it was more than a day, several days, then make up all the missed days. If it is the whole month of Ramadan, and if the person postponed it till the next year and another year without making up, then the fidya is also prescribed according to some of the scholars here, okay? So if it is this way, and you know, and you want to give the fidya first, if you estimate how many days after reaching the age of puberty, give the fidya first, that makes sense. It is due anyway. And you start instead of fasting, voluntary fasting, fasting, uh, maybe also on Mondays and Thursdays, and whenever you have a chance with the intention of making up those missed days in an attempt to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.